I'm Peter Alexander. Welcome to Last Class. Today we're looking at the building blocks for creating a woodwind section template with LAS. To do that, we first look at the different string ensemble sizes. As you can see, LAS is comparable to what's been used across the history of the orchestra. So with any of these string ensembles, here's the question. How many woodwinds can be used, whether live or in a MIDI mock-up? Here are the core instruments for the woodwind section. Flutes, oboes, clarinets, and bassoons. Notice that composers used a pair of instruments until Wagner and Mahler, who wrote for three. We'll build our woodwind section with a process that's as easy, literally, as one, two, three. You can start with the woodwind section of just one player each. With two players each, you can have two independent parts and a unison line. In a three-player section, you can have three independent parts, or one independent part and two players in unison, or all three players in unison. So, which woodwind sample libraries have solo in unison? That's the question. Let's start with the standard course setup of two players each. Going in alphabetical order, here's Sonavox. They have two players for oboes. So you need a second flute, a second clarinet, and a second bassoon for independent part writing and vertical voicings. From the website, it looks like they have two player ensembles under unison. With Westgate Studios, you have solo instruments and three two player ensembles for flute, oboe, and bassoon. So the possible buying conclusion is that for a standard woodwind ensemble, you can buy Sonavox and Westgate to have independent players and get a choice of three different unison ensemble sections. Interestingly enough, neither company recorded a clarinet unison ensemble. The threes means a three-person section per woodwind family, which has mostly been used by Wagner, Mahler, and film composer John Williams. Per Mike Berry at CineSamples, Hollywood Winds is based on John Williams' woodwind section. So if you're writing for a big wind section, then strongly consider adding Hollywood Winds to your template. For East-West QLSO, you have the solo instruments for the core section and three unison sections for flute, oboe, and clarinet. The clarinet ensemble fills in the missing gap from Sonavox and Westgate. Vienna is similar to QLSO, except Vienna recorded a unison bassoon ensemble. Now this is Wallander Instruments, and they create their instruments using physical modeling. There's a separate Woodwinds library you can get. You drag the instruments onto the stage and then position them in the mix. The Wallander Woodwind Package completely handles the two and three player core woodwind sections. Now, the reality check for MIDI mockups is this. All these instrumental sounds we work with from other companies have to be worked with to sit in the mix. Woodwinds, brass, and percussion sit behind the strings. So when creating your template, these instrumental sounds need to be positioned behind the last string section, not in front of the strings. Now here's the challenge. Getting the sonorities to balance in a MIDI mock-up. It starts first with the woodwind libraries, then working to get them as best as possible to sit in the mix as they would in a real orchestra. I say as best as possible because all of these libraries were recorded in different spaces. This means that there are two aspects to mixing for a MIDI mock-up. The first is getting samples that just mix or blend well together sonically so that, as best as possible, they sound like a natural section when you write for them. Once you've found those combinations, 
The second aspect is positioning them in the mix, in your template, so that they're behind the strings. All right, now you know how to begin building your orchestral template with LAS at the center of it. I'm Peter Alexander, and I'll see you in the next LAS class.